are you doing today? Today I'll be showing you how to make and apply fondant. This fondant is really easy to make and work with. I think the other kind of fondant you can make from scratch is the marshmallow kind and I really 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 hate that kind of because it's so so sticky. I remember making it before and I was just drowning in like marshmallow. The consistency is not like sticky sticky. It's actually kind of like firm like dough and it's a lot more cheaper to make fondant at home rather than buying it pre-made. To cover a three-tier cake with like six inch, eight inch, and ten inch completely, we need to make this recipe about three times just to be sure that we have enough for each tier. So I'm showing you how to make it like one at a time because if you were to double or even triple this recipe, it's just gonna be too overwhelming. So taking a packet of gelatin, we just need like one envelope for one recipe and just sprinkle it into our water and we just wait about two minutes. We're gonna place it into the microwave and we're gonna heat this about 30 seconds until it's dissolved and clear. Add any flavors if you want to now. It can be lemon, almond, or orange extract. We just need a teaspoon of it. I'm actually not adding any flavoring. Add in the corn syrup. Of glycerin. Glycerin can be bought from Michael's. Stir this together until it becomes a clear liquid. Sift one and a half pounds of powdered sugar into a bowl and taking a little spoon, we're gonna stir in our liquidy stuff into our powdered sugar until it comes together. And we're gonna try to gradually add in the powdered sugar into the dough and remove it from the bowl and place it onto the table. And we're just gonna gradually add some more powdered sugar into it, maybe like one cup at a time, just kneading it like a regular dough. I ended up using all of the powdered sugar, but you may not even be able to knead it all in it. Wrap it in plaster rack. I kind of just doubled it up, but you should place it into a Ziploc bag afterwards and then place it into your refrigerator until it's ready to be used. If you keep it in there for 24 hours, it gives the dough time to relax and it's like the best time to use the fondant waiting after 24 hours. And I waited around like 20 hours and that was good enough for me. Remove the fondant from the fridge and just unwrap it of course and we could dust our table with some cornstarch if you need to. So just have your cake right there ready for the fondant. And I have this long rolling pin, it's about 40 inches. I got it from Daiso Japan. As we're rolling out our fondant, we want to make sure to lift it and make sure it's not sticking to our table and even using our spatula to run onto the bottoms of the fondant so it doesn't stick. And our table, we just roll it out flat and make sure it's going to be able to cover our whole cake. And we're going to roll up our fondant into the rolling pin so we can lift it up using the rolling pin and just be very gentle with it. Just gently unwrap the fondant over the cake and you had to work really quick. The first thing we want to do is be able to secure the top of the cake. Like if you don't smooth out the top of the cakes first, like the side corners will start cracking. So just taking our smoother, we're just gonna run it onto the top of our cake. And Using a pizza cutter I got from the Dollar Tree, we just like cut out the excess around it and using our smoother again, smooth the sides out. Not only fondant is used to cover cakes, it can be used to make cake decorations. You can make flowers, ribbons, I'll be showing you how to make a border for the cake called a slag and I think it's important to have borders to really complete the look on cakes. To make a swag, you roll a piece of fondant into a rectangle and using our pizza cutter, we're just going to clean up the sides a bit. Using a chopstick stick or dowel, place it underneath the top half of the fondant and try to mold a piece into the stick. Place another chopstick on top of the fondant this time, right below the last chopstick. And then alternate again with the chopstick below and mold the piece into the fondant. And here I am again just cleaning up the pieces and removing any excess. Gently remove the chopstick from the fondant. We're just going to bunch together these pieces, just very gently.
and there we have a swag. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, comment down below. 